agents. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to GCC TV. Stands for Generate, Convert, Close TV. That's the name of our Facebook group and that's where you're here right now. All right, so today I wanted to bring to you everything you need to know about productivity ruts, all right? We're gonna talk about why they happen in the first place. We're gonna talk about how you can avoid um, them and what to do if you happen to fall into a productivity rut. So if you're here, please say hello. Give me a like, let me know that you exist, all right? I'd love to say hello to you and interact with you, okay? Um, so today, guys, Productivity ruts. First off, what is a productivity rut? All right, it could be defined. There's, it's really your definition of productivity rut, right? It's usually a feeling that you have that your business and where you want to be are not at the same place, right? Where you want to be and where you want to take your business and where you are now, it, you're not feeling like you're getting there, right? You're feeling a lull in your business. You're feeling like you know what to do, but you just can't do it, right? If you've ever felt like that, let me know in the comments, okay? Um, so here, let's go over causes first, all right? So we're gonna go over some causes, and then we're gonna talk about exactly what to do to fix that and how to avoid them going forward. So let's go over some of the causes right now. What can be causing a productivity rep, all right? Number one, it is our perception or our view or our perspective of the workload that we have, right? Because I'm sure, have there ever been times in your life where your workload has actually been higher than it is right now, but for some reason you're just not able to manage it? Have you ever experienced, oh, is the live still working? It just said it wasn't connected. Oh, we're just gonna keep going. I hope this is working. All right, um, so we wanna make sure, it, it's, it's our perception of our workload, right? Anytime that we feel that our workload is more than what we can handle, we're gonna start feeling that overwhelm, right? It's not necessarily your workload per se, it is how you are viewing it, it is your perception of it, it's how you are um, feeling it in your brain, okay? So the next thing that can cause a productivity rut is your needs not being met. This is a huge one, all right? If you feel that your free time, that your current life, that your current activity level is inhibiting your free time or inhibiting your daily function or inhibiting anything, right? If your needs are not being met, right? You're not getting the time to eat like you should, all right? Any of those things can start a productivity rut. Something else that can cause a lull in your business, and again, another huge one, guys, is comparing your results to somebody else's, all right? We do not wanna get in the routine or the habit of saying, all right, look at this person and look at their results, and they have a similar, they have similar circumstances, why am I not there, right? Why do I not have the results that they have currently? All right, so getting stuck in that mindset of looking over the fence and seeing what is somebody else doing and saying, why am I not having that is a, a, a quick, it can easily cause a productivity run, easily cause discouragement. All right, so, so far we've said our perception of our workload, all right, our needs not being met, comparing our results to someone else. And again, I just wanna mention as a subset of that, when we start comparing our results to somebody else, we, we throw ourselves off the game because what we should be focused on is what? Not results, but our system, right? What our daily actions, what we're doing on day in and day out, what's going into our brain, what's going on in our thoughts, all right? So when we start comparing to somebody else, we're comparing their results with ours when results is not the end all be all. The results is not what we wanna look at. What we're looking at is the overall system. Right, so I just wanted to mention that before I move on. All right, so the uh, second to last reason we're gonna talk about things that cause or causing uh, your productivity ruts is not, not setting goals that are big enough. This is all goal, goal oriented here, okay? Your goals are either not big enough, they're not relevant or meaningful to you, 
all right, or you haven't visited them recently, all right? If you do have a big vision and giant goals, but you have not taken a look at them recently, if you have not read them or written through them or even looked at them lately, that could start causing a productivity rut. All right, and last but not least, okay, I feel like productivity ruts are 95% our fault. We make them up essentially, okay? And one of the biggest reasons is we have a thought we meet, we think, okay, things aren't where it should be. I, or I, why am I not doing what I'm supposed to be doing right now? And that thought snowballs. All right, so be careful with that. We don't wanna give a thought that could, have, could just be nothing. It's just made up, just a brief moment of time that you took weight on, right? We, we took this concept and said, all right, this is real. I am in a productivity rut, all right? So labeling it is, is something that we want to avoid. Okay, so now we know a couple of causes, our, our interpretation or our perception of the workload that we have, our needs are not being met, we're comparing our results to somebody else, we don't have goals uh, that are big enough or they're not relevant or meaningful to us, all right, or we haven't even looked at our goals recently. We're not reminded of what our big vision is and what we are even doing all of this work for or not doing all of this work for, okay? So with those causes, obviously starting from there, you can see some immediately immediate things that you can start doing um, to avoid that productivity rut. And first off, right, starting with your workload, the perception of your workload how can you think about it differently? How can you reframe it, right? Because I imagine that you only want to get more successful and that you want to attract more and more business. And I can assume that you might also assume that more and more business is going to be busier, right? We're going to, we're, how can I even attract more business when I can't even get this small amount of work done, right? So we want to reframe that, starting from reframing that and saying, all right, this is my workload. It's not a lot, it's not a little, it is what it is, right? So immediately just starting to reframe those things so that way when you think of what you have to do, you don't get that panic, you don't get that overwhelm, okay? So I wanted to move into now how, what you can do if you do fall into a productivity rep, all right? So if that happens to happen, a couple of things is um, that you can do. <laughs> One of my favorite and super easy things that you can do to get out of a productivity rut, guys, is just putting on some music. Honestly, I cannot believe how many times that I've felt completely just done with everything and I put on one of my favorite songs that make me just feel like I can conquer anything and that thought completely goes away and I'm, a, I'm my, back to my old self almost immediately. All right, so what is a song that you can, that you know right now, anytime that you fall into a lull or you start feeling this, this productivity rut, you know, where you're not, you're not doing the things you're supposed to do, what music can you put on and jam out to? All right, take a deep breath, take two to three minutes out of your day and put on a song and jam out to it, a song that makes you feel invincible, okay, because a lot of that is just going to change your thing of what the... The trick is a pattern interrupt, right? We don't allow ourselves to continue thinking those thoughts. We put on a piece of music that changes our mindset and changes our outlook and changes the thoughts that are going into our head, all right? So it's like a hack, you know, just if you're feel, not feeling it, put on some music, guys. Super easy way to get that done. All right, now, another thing we can do, if you notice that a particular current level of production or current level of um, work or family or whatever you have that is causing this productivity right if you notice that it's not working for you you need to change something all right if you're going week after week saying I can't keep this up I can't keep this up I can't keep this up or I'm not doing anything I have so much that I need to do and I'm feeling like I can't get it done right? I don't know what it is. It's literally me, but I just can't do it. All right. I got follow-ups to do and I'm just not about it. All right. Any of those things, what we want to do is figure out, okay, well, if this isn't working. How can I go around it? All right. How can I do my follow-up in a way that actually suits me right now? What about a mass email? What about a mass text message? Okay. Oftentimes when we do that one little thing, 
it's going to spark us to do the next thing. All right, and um, do not do not underestimate the beauty of a mass text message. Okay. <laughs> All right, so if you notice that a particular pattern of work or particular volume, like you know that, okay, I cannot um, show homes Monday through Friday and show five homes every single day, right? That leaves me exhausted, and then by the next week, I don't want to do anything anymore. Change that. Don't allow yourself to do that anymore. Make those observations. All right, moving on. Start with something simple, a small action. All right, this is one of my um, favorite little tricks to do when you do get into a productivity rut is tell yourself, all right, I'm just going to do this one. I do not feel like doing any of this today, but at least I'm going to get at least this one done, right? Who, are, who's the most important, who is the most important person for you to call at that time, right? Call that person. Text that person. All right, uh, think about different ways that you can start simple. What can you do that doesn't require you a whole lot of energy? What can you do from the couch, right? That still allows you to get that done, okay? Uh, so we said music, we said doing a small action, we said actually observing what your workload is and um, how you feel after the workload, all right? Especially after a certain amount of time allowing yourself to recharge ultra important a lot of times we don't allow ourselves to recharge because we're comparing ourselves to somebody else all right stop that you'll be so much happier mind your own business all right um the next thing is changing your environment okay so again just another one that's almost immediate if you are feeling down, guys, if you know you got things to do and you can't get it done, go somewhere else and do it, right? I have my office here. This is where I do a lot of my work, but sometimes if it's harder than others just to get it done, I'll go outside in the backyard and take my laptop with me instead and put my feet up and you know just do something completely different out of the norm. That way you're changing, changing your environment. And when you change your environment, you tend to change your thoughts as well. All right, so that's another way to just get out of where you are, get out of the, if you're prospecting in one spot or you normally check your social media in one spot, go somewhere else. Do something different, all right? It'll invite new thoughts and get you out of that funk. And who knows, you might get some new inspiration and some new ideas that'll carry you um, forward even faster. All right, now the last thing, the last thing, okay, and this, guys, is going to allow you to not only get out of a productivity rut, but will help you avoid productivity ruts going forward. And it is my very favorite tool. I've adapted it for about the last 23 weeks now, and it is my morning routine. All right, in my morning routine specifically, there are two different things that instantly get me excited about my day and just remind me about what I am doing and why I'm going to take the actions I've, I've laid out for myself. Okay, and those things are affirmations and visualization. All right, the affirmations, um, I'm using, uh, his name's Hal, Al, Hal Elrod from The Miracle Morning. And I do that savers routine, which is, um, it stands for silence, affirmations, visualizations, exercise, reading, and scribing. And scribing is writing. So every single day I'm doing these affirmations and I'm doing this visualization. And my affirmations not only say what I want to be, who I want to be, what I want to achieve, but it also says what I'm going to do to get there, right? what I'm going to do in order to accomplish my vision. All right, so I've seen my goals every single day. I'm reminding myself, oh my goodness, I have this giant vision and I get excited, right? I'm excited about my day again. And before doing the morning routine, I usually had a lot of thoughts from the previous day, a lot of drama, you know, just not necessarily drama, but just lingering things that had to get done, nagging things that had to get done. Um, and that or not necessarily get done, but just clutter, right? Your brain gets cluttered. And unless you reset it, it's hard to go forward with clarity, right? It's hard to go forward with conviction with your day. Like, yes, I got this day, 
All right. So morning routine, specifically those affirmations and visualizations, remind yourself what your goal is, remind yourself why you're gonna do the things you've set yourself to do that day. All right, and that will help you avoid some productivity ruts, okay? Now I'd love to hear you guys. Um, your, what do you do? If you're in a productivity rut, let us know in the comments what do you to get, do to get out of it. Uh, and next week, guys, we are back to our weekly videos. Next week, we are talking about, oh shoot, I had my list and I can't remember where it goes. I'll post it in the group, okay? All right, everybody, thanks for hanging out with me. Have a wonderful Wednesday, and we will see you next Wednesday.